Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Third day with the Bard. Well, here is a video that I'm just very pleased to do. I'm sitting on the steps here of the uh, United States Supreme Court, and uh, I guess yesterday uh, they decided that they are not going to hear the appeals of the uh, local federal courts that have uh, allowed gay marriage. So in other words, the Supreme Court is going, hey, we're not going to get involved. The federal judges in the 9th, 10th, and whatever district courts have already ruled. We think they've ruled right, and there's no reason for us to listen to any appeals from the state of Utah. So the people in Utah are like, here it is at conference. Is that a coincidence that the Supreme Court said that gay marriage is now allowed in the state of Utah, and it was announced on conference day or the day before. <coughs> what irony. What absolute irony, and I couldn't be happier. This is a civil rights issue to me. Um, people are so different, and <coughs> if you are in love with someone of the same sex, uh, gender, so what? As long as you marry, obey the laws, um, pay your taxes, and uh, treat your kids with respect and raising them properly. And if they're gay, that's fine. Most of them won't be. Uh, I think it's a wonderful time that I have lived to see equality. The blacks have equality. Women have equality. And the gays have equality. Now, it takes time for these uh, court decisions and major changes in our society uh, to take place. But it's immediate. <laughs> in Utah and Oklahoma, the Supreme Court says, we're not involved. Listen to what the lower courts have said. And the 10th District, um, I think on a vote of 3 to, to 1, uh, approved gay marriage uh, as a civil rights issue in the state of Utah. So now, <laughs> what are the Mormons going to do? <laughs> what are they going to do? How is that going to affect temple marriage? Can a gay couple who are legally married go to the temple now in the Mormon church? Uh, can they adopt children and have those children sealed to them? Or is the Mormon church going to get kicked in the nuts again when the gay people say, hey, the Mormon church is still discriminating against us. And uh, those of you that say, uh, and, and you're Republicans, <laughs> that um, the church has a, a privacy, uh, among other things, that they can discriminate all they want. Well, there's some truth to that, and then there's some lies to that. Any federal money that goes into BYU, or any federal money that goes into BYU-Idaho, or BYU-Hawaii, is going to be withheld. And the IRS can certainly take away the tax exemption, the 5013C, from the Mormon Church. So when you donate your tithing, it is not a charitable organization. So yeah, they can discriminate, but for how long? For how long? The roads, the federal money that comes into Utah for all of the big boys uh, and the nepotism of the, the construction companies, that's going to fall away. <laughs> the federal government can take money away from states. And if the states don't obey the law, the, le the, the um, legality of the law plus the spirit of the law, the federal government can kick them and kick them until they finally go, okay, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just uh, enjoying myself, uh, enjoying, I read uh, uh, the uh, USA Today. I've got the link down below for all of you to take a look at. But as of the last few hours, uh, gay marriage is okay in Utah and Oklahoma. So if you're an Okie... <laughs> now, you can't marry a sheep. <laughs> you can't marry a cow. It has to be a human being, I think. No trees. <laughs> no horses. So in Oklahoma, I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to have to marry the opposite gender. But anyway, in Utah, uh, polygamy uh, and cohabitation now is legal. And so is gay marriage. And so the Mormon Church <laughs> loses again. It's a, it's a group a cult group of losers. They're out of touch with the reality of the real world. These people, uh, including my daughter, she's a lesbian, 
she has a job. She is making payments on her car. She's buying insurance for her car and gas and her job every day, five days, in fact, six days a week. She works on Saturday, too. What's wrong with that girl falling in love with another girl? And I'd even let them have a room upstairs and um, adopt children or whatever. Everyone has a right in the United States to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Not just the heterosexuals, not just the white <laughs> and delights them, but the brown, the black, the gays, the females. Everybody is protected under the Constitution of the United States. Utah, <laughs> in all the experience they've had for 175 or 80 years, doesn't understand that principle. They never have. And I'm not sure they ever will. So now, um, the next conference talks will be <laughs> more centered around this. I guess it came maybe Friday, uh, just before the conference of the uh, LDS Church on April 6th. So anyway, uh, here it is, uh, Monday morning, and uh, the uh, Mormons went to church yesterday holding hands, <laughs> and they had hundreds of new people coming into their wards who are now going to get married and want to go to the temple and have their children sealed to them. What is the Mormon church going to do? Are they going to let go of their tax exemption? They'll collapse. They'll collapse if that happens. Are they going to shut down BYU and whatever? No. They're going to raise that tuition just like Duke University. 8000 a semester. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the Bard's happy. And uh, I think a lot of people uh, who are not gay, and a lot of gay people certainly are happy. And my daughter is uh, ecstatic that she can have a decent life. She works, she pays taxes, and she is a good American citizen. When she goes to bed at night and closes her door, what business is it mine? What business is it of yours? What business is it of President Monson, <laughs> president of the cult? So anyway, uh, I feel that I do have health and enable, mirror on the bone, strength and the loins and in the sand, use power and the priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. The bard's gone. <laughs> <laughs>